Luke chapter 2, verse 1 depicts the scene of Jesus' birth, which we are all very familiar with. At that time, Caesar Augustus suddenly issued a decree that a census should be taken in the entire Roman Empire. After the decree was issued, everyone had to go to their hometown to register. Thus, Joseph, who belonged to the lineage of David, also went to the city of David called Bethlehem, with Mary his wife, who was with child. Looking at the prophecy of the Bible, didn't Micah chapter 5 already foretell hundreds of years before Jesus came to the earth that the Savior would be born in Bethlehem? In other words, God orchestrated all the events to fulfill that one prophecy. God moved Augustus, a Roman emperor, to issue the decree. And, as a result, Joseph, the husband of Mary, had no choice but to return to his hometown. When they went to his hometown, whom did Mary give birth to? That is how Jesus was born in Bethlehem. If the census decree was not issued, wouldn't Jesus have just been born in Nazareth? When we study the Bible, we can see the fulfillment of prophecies, where God moves the entire universe, if necessary, to fulfill even a single prophecy. We should be able to first recognize God's movements within the invisible world and understand God's profound will. I believe that is when all of us can truly possess the gracious faith that God bestows upon His children. If we fail to live our life of faith such a way, then we will end up only looking at outer appearances and visible situations. People all know that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yet, many do not realize that the whole universe was orchestrated for Jesus to be born in Bethlehem. This history can be viewed as God's work in the invisible world. In this way, we can discover and understand the prophecies one by one in the Bible. While doing so, we will be able to fully understand that this is an important scene of prophecy, allowing us to realize that all history is orchestrated by God, and without His guidance, not even a small result can be achieved on this earth. In conclusion of all this, we can see why God gave us the words written in Colossians chapter 3, set your minds on things above.